So to do this problem, ladies and gentlemen, the first thing we want to do is if it says find all the zeros. Now, my best advice that I would do, um, Desmond, would be first write this down, and then I would write down all of the possible zeros, or all the possible, I'm sorry, rational zeros, right? So when we're looking at this, we say, well, if I want to find all the possible rational zeros, I can take p over q, which would be plus or minus 6, plus or minus 3, comma, plus or minus 2, comma, plus or minus 1, all over plus or minus 1. Those are all my possible rational zeros. Now, to determine if a rational zero works or not, you can apply synthetic division, right? But rather than, ladies and gentlemen, there's a lot of answers, right? You could do plus or minus 6, plus or minus 3, plus or minus 2, plus or minus 1. That's a lot of synthetic division. You'd have to do synthetic division for all of those. So my recommendation is using your graphing calculator to graph the polynomial and see if you can find the zeros. Then all you have to do is whatever zeros you find using your graphing calculator is you still need to show work by proving to me by using synthetic division that those zeros work. Now, let's say you don't have a graphing calculator. What are you going to do? Well, you're going to have to use synthetic division to try to guess and check which zero is going to work. So rather than trying to do all of these from the start, let's start with the easiest ones first. Let's do plus and minus negative 1. So the first one I'll do is 1. So let's do synthetic division to see if 1 is a 0. Because if 1 is a 0, that means x minus 1 is a factor, right? Yes. So we do 1, 4, 1, negative 6. Bring down the 1. 1 times 1 is 1, 5. 5 times 1 is 5, 6. 6 times 1 is 6. Hey, look it, we got a remainder of 0. First time. Good job. So therefore, we have remainder, constant, linear, quadratic. So now I could say that, all right, that means x minus 1 is a factor, right? Because if 1 is 0, that means x minus 1 is a factor, times x squared plus x, sorry, plus 5x plus 6. Well, ladies and gentlemen, they're not saying find all the factors. They're saying find the zeros. So first of all, remember, all of our factors have to be linear. So is this a linear factor? No, Dustin, it isn't. So we need to factor this down. So therefore, what I can do is I can rewrite that as x plus 3 times x plus 2. Right? So you guys can say that these are all your factors. So if I want to say what are the zeros, then I'm going to say that they're going to equal 0. So now you can say x minus 1 equals 0, x plus x plus 3 equals 0, and x plus 2 equals 0. So you take all of your factors, set them equal to 0, and then you can now say my zeros are x equals 1, x equals negative 3, and x equals negative 2. Can there be more than 3? Yeah. Not when you have a degree of 3, but when you have a different degree, yeah. And then factor for the remaining. Yep. Okay, so P is your constant. 